Class Responsibilities and Collaboration uh, by Alex Bloom, Carlos Gomez. All right, so what is class responsibilities and collaboration? Uh, class responsibility collaborations are cards or CRC cards. Uh, they were created to introduce programmers to a higher level of programming, a programming method focused on objects. Uh, we settled on three dimensions which identify the role of an object in a design, class name, responsibilities, and collaborators. The class name of an object creates a vocabulary for discussing a design. For example, a class name such as a car contains an object type seat. Responsibilities is another name given for what the class is going to do. The responsibility of object type car is to transport per a person from point A to point B. The responsibility is the problem of the class or is the problem the class is going to solve. A collaboration is the name given for what services and other classes our class will interact with. For example, our class interacts or collaborates with road class. In short, class responsibility and collaboration CRC is the model of thinking we should use whenever we are building an object-oriented solution. Uh, how it is applied. When first introduced, CRC cards were used by Beck and Cunningham as a teaching tool to move the software industry away from procedural programming. Object-oriented programming was a new concept that programmers had a hard time grasping at first. In their first classes, they invited participants to solve a problem by writing down the name of a class. They then wrote down the responsibilities of that class, uh, and if it handled input or else modified a variable, etc. They then wrote down how their class would interact with other classes created by them or their colleagues. All of this was done to introduce developers to the notion of modularity and encapsulation. Early CRC cards were great for introducing object-oriented programming to newcomers, but they were severely lacking for advanced concepts. CRC cards were used primarily in brainstorming and constructing the general frame of a given piece of software. Knowing this, there is a recommended way in which a group of developers are to put together CRC cards. So there are three steps. Step one is to identify the classes, and the class name should, respect, uh, should reflect the responsibility of a class and the class name should also use camel case and you can see shopping cart down there as an example. The second step is to assign roles and responsibilities. Each class should have one responsibility. If there is more than one responsibility given to a class, it should be split into multiple classes. Roles should be well defined. No ambiguity should be present as to what the class is doing. Discovering collaborators. A good rule of thumb is to identify verbs associated with, with how a class handles input or output. For example, class name spreadsheet collaborates with file save class in the act of saving. Classes should also be identified as either being a service or a client. A client class collaborates with a service class to function as a method. The authors of class responsibilities collaboration were Cunningham. He was born in Michigan City, Indiana. He received his bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary engineering and his master's degree in computer science from Purdue University, graduating in 1978. He's a founder of Cunningham and Cunningham Inc. He has also served as director of R&D at Wyatt Software and as a principal engineer in the Tetronix Computer Research Laboratory. Ward Cunningham has contributed to the practice of object-oriented programming, in particular to the use of foreign languages, and with Ken Beck, the class responsibility collaboration cards. Kent Beck. Kent Beck attended the University of Oregon between 1979 and 1987, receiving bachelor's degree and master's degrees in computer and information science. He is a software engineer and the creator of Extreme Programming, a software development methodology that chooses rigid formal specification for collaborative and interactive design process. Beck was one of the 17 original signatories of the Agile Manifesto, the founding document for Agile software development. Extreme and Agile methods are closely associated with test-driven development of which Beck is perhaps the leading proponent. Beck popularized CRC cars with Ward Cunningham.
class responsibility collaboration has a few advantages. The first advantage and the most common is that they're easy to understand. For anyone without previous knowledge of UML designs, class responsibility collaboration is a good way to start because they are simple and understanding them does not require a lot. Current CRC cards consist of three elements, the name of the class, its responsibilities, and its collaborations. This makes it plain and simple for anyone interested in reading them. The second advantage is that they're not very time consuming and they're low cost. CRC cards are easy to create and creating them does not require a lot of time and preparation. Because of their simplicity, they can be easily created, avoiding high costs. The third advantage is that they allow everybody in the team to contribute to the design. Because CRC cards do not follow a specific set of rules, they can be easily be played with and arranged in any order necessary. This allows participation from everybody in the group, as well as promoting creativity and freedom of expression. Another advantage is that it facilitates teams to focus on object-oriented programming. Their design allows for a better understanding of how classes connect with each other and how they are to work in unity. The last advantage is that they do not need to be completed to have value. Class responsibility collaboration cards are not tied up to a rigid setup. If you decide that you need to focus on a few classes and draw CRC cards just for them, that is fine. This comes in contrast to the detailed specifications where omissions can have severe consequences. Class responsibility collaboration also has some disadvantages. The first disadvantage is the possibility of low cohesion and high coupling. Because there are no limitations on the number of responsibilities allowed for a given class, it is possible to overload a class with too many responsibilities, resulting in low cohesion within the model. A cohesive class should ideally have just one responsibility. Excessive responsibilities could also lead to a large number of collaborators required to support them. Too many collaborations between classes will produce high coupling and needlessly increase the complexity of the system. The second disadvantage is that it can lead to the creation of the macho classes. A macho class instantiates an object that performs most of the work, leaving all of the minor operations to a set of essentially useless classes. Ideally, the system intelligence should be distributed as evenly as possible across the application and the work shared uniformly. Another problem with the CRC cards is the exclusion of the services provided by the class. By including the services on the CRC cards, the classes can be checked for duplicate functionality. By identifying duplicate functionality, it may be possible to combine or consolidate classes that perform similar functions. In addition, because the responsibility of a class is merely a summary of its operations, explicitly providing the services performed by a class may help verify that responsibility is properly defined. And the fourth disadvantage is that there's no clear role defined. The absence of the class role may lead to assigning wrong, useless, or even missing responsibilities. Although the role seems fairly insignificant, it serves a very important purpose. If a class performs more than one role, it is possible that a generalization exists where each role is actually a subclass of some superclass. The fifth disadvantage if there's difficulty in defining responsibilities. Coming up with class responsibilities can be a difficult task, especially with the absence of a clearly defined role. It is easy to get off track and assign responsibilities that are either ambiguous or irrelevant. The last disadvantage is the difficulty in mapping. Multiple responsibilities can make it difficult to map the classes identified by the CRC cards to the actual class diagram 
and use case scenarios. When numerous responsibilities are assigned to one class, the interactions can become complex. This complexity carries over when the CRC cards are used to map use cases. The use cases are provided to determine if the class model provides the necessary functionality to support all possible scenarios. So our recommendations for when you should use CRC cards. Um, as stated before, CRC cards really should only be used as a brainstorming and analysis of a given project. Uh, CRC cards are great for getting a general overview of how your program should be laid out or the general architecture. It's also great for defining different roles that you need to put into your software. Uh, CRC cards are also very simple and they can be helped uh, they can help other people on your team to understand Unified Modeling Language, or UML, diagrams. And this is the end of our presentation. Thank you so much for watching.